Hey everyone, Dan the Wild Birdman here. I've got these two boxed sets of Bakugan Battle Planet. I'm trying to pull a Dan Kuzo, hopefully going for the playset. I'm just going to get right into it because I don't think you guys really care about the giant cards or the cores. I'll still show them to you, but I'm sure you guys know what the boxes look like already. So I'll try to minimize the opening, but of course the tape is always going to fight me. Like, every single time. I should probably learn by now to, like, pre-snip the tape before I even start unboxing. But I'll do it all at once. So maybe you can just skip through this part. Since that video editing software is still causing me issues. Because I'm literally filming this after I did the uh, Baku clip video. Which you can probably either find on my profile or I'll put a link in the description. Something like that. And before I open these, who do you think is going to have the better packs? Do you think Gorthion or do you think Maxator Ultra? Personally, I'm going to guess Maxator Ultra because he is Pyrus and the card we're going for is Pyrus. So. I'm guessing Gorthion because Gorilla Man and New King Kong movie just came out, so it's good luck for him. Alrighty. And just going to show you guys the cores here really quick. I think the reason that they don't include these anymore is the weight of them. Because, yeah, they're pretty light when you just hold them in your hand, but I'm sure to ship, like, 50 or 100 of them is a couple more pounds, and, you know, any kind of weight really does up the shipping costs on certain things. That's my theory, anyway. Alright, and here's Maxator Ultra stats for you guys. He clocks in at, like, a wimpy 100 and... 4 damage, and he gets a plus 2 on a Fire Fist, so nothing competitive there for sure, but it is pretty cool to have a big card. And again, with a lot of air in these packs. Enjoy the AMSR there, folks. I swear if my YouTube channel ever blows up, I'm going to make a shirt that says, like, Crinkle Crinkle or something. <laughs> crinkle Crunch. That sounds like a cereal. Oh yeah, crinkle crunches. There's a cereal that's shaped like crinkle fries. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Whoa, fries. this is like damage like straight out of the pack. What the hell? I mean, it's a crappy card anyway, but it's like bent. I don't think I did that. I was very gentle when I crunched that open. Ew, gross, it's Kobo. He's dying, be nice. <laughs> Deep freeze. I like that art of Cindy is on there. Cindy, this is definitely one of my favorites. Deep Dive, that's a good card right there. Sword Barrage, Hyper Pegatrix Ultra, Hyper Dragonoid, Maximus Gorthion Ultra, and for the Hex, we got Hydranoid. That looks really cool, not gonna lie. But yeah, maybe this one's damaged too, because look at that. Like, who had a vendetta against these? Jeez. Maybe that's why they ended up at discard st or discard stores. Wow, listen to me. Discount stores because someone just beat them up. Or they assumed, oh, these are probably damaged in shipping. So people will be less mad if we sell them for less. But these ones look fine, actually. So we got solar powered. I like the little turtle. I like turtles. <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> Like, that's a meme fossil for you guys. There's, an, there's Hydrogen and Ultra, but he's not shiny. We got Shargo Ronin. We got Titan Krakelios Ultra. That looks pretty cool. And for the Hex, we got Ruin. Recharge your energy cards. That could be useful, actually. You could make, you could make a deck off that, maybe. You could reuse all your energy for the turn. Well, like a troll deck, not like a real deck. Alright, we got Tangle Vines. We got Hyper Serpentees. That looks cool. He looks like an ancient artifact. We got another Dying Cubbo. <laughs> Maximus Gorthion. He looks like he's got some straight up brass knuckles there. We got Deep Freeze again. We got Deep Dive next to Deep Freeze again. That's kind of interesting. Darkest Blitz. China Riot. Maximus Webum Ultra, and for the Hex, we got Water to Ice. So, that's looking pretty cool. So, nothing nothing too terribly rare or interesting in that pack. Still liked it, though. 
It looks like we get a magic shield in this in this uh, box set over here. So let's hope let's hope it's a good one. Ooh, pretty good. We got a 550. And the other uh, hex isn't really much to write home about. And I'll show you guys the big card in just a second. Some of these packs are like really wedged in here, and I think maybe that's what caused the damage. Because I gotta lift them out. Here, I'll, I'll even show you guys. Like, see how this is, like, stuck in there? You have to, like, really carefully lift them out because these little corners here and here, if you pull them out straight, you risk damaging the cards. And maybe that's my fault when I pulled the other, the other packs out. So, take note, Spin Master, and fix it because I said so. Alright, we got Gorthion Ultra, 602. Nothing to write home about, but the Reverse Hollow looks pretty cool. So we're gonna cross our fingers that, one, we get a Dan Kuzo, and two, that it's not damaged. So, first pack. Ooh, yeah, this this is damaged on on that side, and I was careful. Like, you saw me. I don't know if that was that pack, but I'm sure re-watching the video will give me the answer. I thought that was the same card twice for a second. <laughs> Trimmer. Dying Kubo in, like, every pack. And he's next to Deep Freeze, and the next one's going to be... Deep Dive. Knew it. Called it. You could definitely box map these, I'm sure. Because I bet this is, you know, how they're cut off sheets. Ooh, Sneak Attack. For the rest of the turn, both players may pay Evo play Evo cards from their hand for free. For the Hex, we got Mind Control. And that looks really cool. I like the way the eyes look on Cyndius there. So, definitely keeping that one. I think Jules was right. The Gorthion has the better packs already. And I got... Oh, man. Good luck. Yeah, and I got plenty more packs. Like, I, I kind of went crazy at TJ Maxx, so... This is like, yeah, I did. Like, this is the first installment in in many, many pack openings. Hyper Tritonium. We got Web Snare. Claw Cutter. I like the art there. It looks kind of like it's moving. Titan Mananoid. Hyper Pegatrix. Hyper, oh, Hyper. Maximus Fangzar Ultra. I like the reverse hollow look on that. And for the Hex, we've got... Cubbo. Oh boy. So does anybody want to make a trade? Because this guy is staring in my soul right now. Creeping me out. And last pack. Gonna do our, our magic and hope that there's a Dan Kuzo right in here. Because if not, I need to go back to uh, TJ Maxx and go crazy. If there's anything even left to go crazy for. Okay. Shield of the Faithful, Blaze, Claw Cutter. That's weird. We're getting a lot of repeats there. That could be another reason that these went into uh, discount stores. But I'm not complaining. Maximus Tertonium Ultra. I was hoping that was Dan Kuzo because it was Pyrus. Let's see. What's the hex? Titan Cindius. Okay. Yeah, that's badass. I like that. So yeah, he's he's a keeper. Unfortunately, we didn't pull Dan Cuzo yet, but we're going to keep trying. Uh, that's all, folks. <laughs> Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.